Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. Let's talk Kung Fu weapons for a second. One of the most traditional of all the Kung Fu weapons is the sword. If you ever had the opportunity to go to China and visit the various cities, some are thousands of years old, you'll find that China has ancient museums that allow you to see pottery as well as weapons as well as art that has been in the Chinese culture and way of life for over 10,000 years. And one of the geniuses of China is their ability to invent things. Inventing gunpowder, inventing paper, inventing writing tools, inventing boats that can sail on the ocean, inventing the compass, but also inventing weapons that were vastly superior at killing human beings than any other tool was on the planet at that time. And one of the many weapons whose sole purpose is to end the life of other human beings is the sword. And in Chinese, we call the sword by two names. One is Dao and one is Jian. So Dao more so means knife or a sword that is sharp on only one side. And the Jian is more of a double-edged sword that's sharpened on both sides. In this video, we're going to speak of the weapon I'm cradling like a baby here in my arm. And this one is called the Hu Die Shuang Dao. Say that one time. Hu Die. That's butterfly. Shuang is pear, and Dao is the knife or the sword that's sharp on only one side. The butterfly sword, also called butterfly knife, is normally found in a pair. There are normally two of them. And I believe that they are called the butterfly knife or the butterfly sword because when they're done in practice, they appear as if they are two butterflies dancing in the wind. And look at this weapon really quick. It's short, so it's easily concealable. It's brutal. It can be used in a thrusting manner, but also in a slashing manner. It also has a parent or a guard of the hand that can be used to protect you from when your opponent slashes at your arm. So perhaps when the inevitable zombie apocalypse happens, perhaps I'll be bringing my sharpened combat steel ready butterfly knives with me into the abyss to protect me against the apocalypse that is to come. Let's train a few of the techniques of the traditional Chinese butterfly sword. First, I want you to think about the way that this weapon is effective. This weapon is not primarily used for thrusting. Its main purpose is for cutting and slashing. So for the most part, we're gonna be slashing with this sword. We're gonna be cutting with this sword. And actually, if you guys look at human beings who are injured in knife accidents or gun accidents, I've read lots of statistics that say that knife wounds are more deadly than bullets because they can slash an area of the body that's vast and they can cause internal bleeding that's very hard to pinpoint. A bullet tends to make a hole and it's easily found in the body, but a slash of a knife can kill you much more quickly by creating so much trauma that you bleed to death. And so when we perform the sword in the context of Chinese Gong Fu, our purpose is to cut and slash other human beings. But of course, only in practice. Hopefully we'll never have to use it because traditional real Kung Fu is for self-defense only. We can push cut. We can push cut. We can slash back. We can cut over the top. We can block high and hit and cut underneath. We can deflect a weapon and then slash down low. And if I had a class full of a bunch of students, we'd be trying these movements for about 30 minutes together before we did any kind of form or combat practice. But today for YouTube, I want you guys to get something that can simulate butterfly swords. If you need butterfly swords, there's a link in the comments and the description below this video where you can order them, the same pair that I'm using here. If you don't have them right now, you can get something like a stick. Hold double sticks. I'll show you how to use these in a second. This form needs a lot of space, too much space for my backyard. So I'll show you where my secondary dojo is, if you guys follow me right now. I have a long path of this scary haunted trash alley. This will be my dojo today for butterfly sword practice. This video today will focus on the traditional butterfly swords of Chinese Kung Fu. It will not per se be a combat video, but it's a video to teach you the movements of the butterfly swords, the choreographed Tao Lu or Kata of the butterfly swords, so that we may prepare ourselves combatively in a future video lesson. Hold your swords here on your left arm with the dull edge facing toward your skin. 
the sharp edge facing the heavens, and bow for respect. From there, step to the right and take the right hand and move it past the right knee this way. Then I want you to circle the left hand over the top, hold it by your hip and pose the right hand on top of the head with all the weight back. Step forward the left leg, straight kick with the right leg. From there, throw the swords into your right hand, cutting over the top. Then the immortal points the way and pull the swords into your hip. So, now throw the outside sword of the right hand into the left hand and we go cut one left, two right, three left, four right. From there, we go cut underneath with that jabbing slash. Cut over the top again. Over the top again, underneath again. From here, step back and block inward with the slashing motion, both swords working together. Then I look toward you guys, you're my opponent this time. Cut one right, two left, three right, four left. And then again, come at you, under, over, over, under. Then from here, I step back and I cut one. Step back again, cut two. Then come to horse stance, slash both downward this way. And then from here, thrust the left one straight, shifting into a right side bow. Hook out with the butterfly sword with the chamber. So it's a thrust, hook. Shift again, thrust, hook. Shift again, thrust, hook. Shift the fourth time, thrust, hook. From there, I move my weight back to horse stance block with both swords inward, thrust both swords forward, and then from there, block downward into a horse stance here. Then a crazy, insane cut of rapid four strikes. One, two, three, four. From there, we go the other direction. We block inside to the right, and then thrust with the right hand first. Hook out. Left hand next hook out, right hand third, hook out, left hand fourth, hook out. From here, both swords cut back, thrust both swords forward, and again block it down into a horse stance. Then we go right, left, right, left, down again, step back with your left leg, and block cut this way. Look at how my right hand is blocking an attack. My left hand is doing a sneaky cut underneath. Then step forward, both swords cut out together, attacking, trying to get into the neck region. From there, two blocks step back. One block sneaky cut. Second step, block cut combination. Now attack again with both swords. Now step back four times. One, two, three, four. From here, thrust with the lead hand, step forward, chop and slice somebody over the top where the neck and shoulder meet with the left hand. Four more steps back. One, two, three, four. From here, thrust left, step forward over the top, slash in where the shoulder and neck meet. Four more steps back. One, two, three, Four. From here, look to my right 45 degrees, push one. From there, step forward, push two, block the weapon low. They try to get me in the knee. They can't do that to me, I have butterfly swords. Block down, retreat into monkey, block past the knee and cut. Then from there, step back four more times. One, two, three, four. Look to the left. Push, jab, slash, one. Step forward, again. Block that guy again, he didn't learn his lesson. To monkey stance, block down again. And three more retreats. One, two, three. The reason for three is because that ends that sequence. After that, we come down to horse, slice with both hands down, blocking low, and we stay in the horse for at least five minutes with the legs flat to work on our conditioning.
use the first part of this video as instruction, but if you do not have butterfly swords, and you did not order at the link below this video or in the comments, you can use sticks or anything you can find to simulate butterfly swords, at least memorize the form. Not having the weapon is not an excuse to do nothing, because doing something is always better than doing nothing. From here, we stand, we bow, step to the right, deflect, block, posture, step, straight kick, throw it in, <sighs> toss it up, catch, one, two, three, four, come under, over, over, under, and so on. You can use the sticks the same way you would use the swords, at least you're practicing to some degree. Little postscript note for those of you who want to train with this weapon exclusively. It's not necessary to be tiger spirit with the butterfly swords. Don't forget, you don't have to be as aggressive as a bow staff or a nunchuck with the sword because let the sword do the work. Just like in golf, let the golf club do the work. Let the sword do the cut. It's more important to be a surgeon with accuracy and detail like a surgeon has than it is to be a Roman gladiator from days of old. Be calm in control and precise during sword training. When you're doing the form, make sure your stances are low to condition your legs. For more Kung Fu, check out my online school at jakemace.com, it's only $5. And also check me out on Instagram at jakemacetaichi. We have almost 2,000 posts on Instagram. And you can also email me at jakemace.com any questions you might have.